<laughs> All right, fellas. I was kind of stole my thunder a little bit, introduce myself, but just to you know, reiterate to some of the guys that haven't been here. Um, you know, play my ball, high school ball, every little high school. Um, you know, after that, I had an opportunity to play for um, the great Gabby Price up at Huston University. Um, great experience there, and then wanted to get into coaching. So I had an opportunity, my brother's coaching at Poland High School, I was coaching the DBs and receivers there. Um, and then, you know, really wanted to get into college, so I started the volunteer, you know, ways with Bates College, and I went from Bates to Amherst College. One of my good friends gets a job at Bates. I'm right back at Bates coaching the secondary and also coordinating special teams. Um, again, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about corner play. I think that, um, you know, DBs as a whole, some of the skills are applicable to the corners and safeties, but we're really gonna hone in on just the technique of the corners, okay? Scheme, we're not really gonna get too much into that. Um, we're gonna be all structure of the corner play today, okay? This right here starting off, mentality, huge. Want to play corner, huge. I tell my guys, I always say, hey, playing corner, World Series mentality. Every player on an island, it's a lifestyle, okay? See you here, hey, so this is cockiness. We want to be right here. That's where our guys are at, right here, real close, okay? Fundamentals, technique, 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 okay? Like I said, I'm not gonna talk all about the scheme here. It's all technique, how to develop those guys, okay? And again, guys have different ways they go about things, okay? This is my toolbox. Take what you need from the toolbox. You with me? Take what you need from the toolbox, okay? Attack and approach every day with great intensity and focus, okay? I'm gonna bring intensity, I'm gonna bring focus to every day. Our guys, I'm, they're gonna expect that from me, I'm gonna expect that from them. Okay. Now, you talk about corner play, what's the foundation of that? Okay, that's it right there, the fundamentals. Eyes, feet, hands, finish. That's what we're gonna be talking about today, okay? Eyes. Eyes are the key, okay? Eyes are the key. Eye discipline. Holding in on your key, having the discipline and maintain the same eyes, okay? With that bottom piece right there, having that ability to transition your eyes. Okay? Feet, efficiency of movements, inches, okay? I always say to my guys, hey, slow feet don't eat, okay? Perfecting your craft, your footwork, it's so important, so important, okay? Hands, right? Disrupt, punch, catch the football. I know you're playing defense, but hey, catch the football when the quarterback throws you the football, okay? Primary tools of weapons. I always tell the guys, hey, we're punching through the pocket. We're disrupting, we're physical, we're punching, we're bringing the fight to the receiver. Finish. We want to get the football out. Get the football out. We want to tackle. Okay? I know a lot of times guys say, hey, corners can't tackle. Well, guess what? At base college, we're tackling. Okay? And this, this is huge for me here, guys. This is huge. Okay? Finish every drill, okay? With the finish. Every drill. Whether that's a football, whether you guys just compete down the sideline, okay, trying to win the drill, whether you're doing some type of pedal progression or anything like that, I always tell my guys, hey, we're gonna finish, okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into it here, guys. Right into it, okay? And we talk about press stance, okay? That big piece right here, power cylinder, power cylinder. That's your foundation as a cornerback. That's your foundation. When I talk about power cylinder, my guys know it's the radius around your framework, okay? For you to think about it, think about it like this. I know some of you guys go to the gym, you see those resistant bands that people have, and when you're working on your hip support, think about having a, a rubber band across your ankles, okay? When you have a rubber band, resistant band on your ankle, you pull, the other leg comes with it. You pull, the other leg comes with it. You're playing within your framework, okay? So that for us, you guys know, hey, within your radius, that's your power cylinder, okay? Square stance, right? Square, obviously we want our, you know, our nose over our knees and knees over our toes, okay? This right here, guys, don't overcoach this shit, okay? I want our guys to be comfortable. <coughs> I give them a couple buzzwords and then you go play, okay? So Z, so V in the knees, Z in the body. What I mean by that is you want a slight, you want to bring your knees inward. So there's where you're creating that V. You with me? Can you guys see what I'm talking about? Creating that V, okay? And on the side, you're naturally creating that Z. If you go to the next slide, coach, 
give you guys an opportunity to look at that. That's what we're looking for. Jaren, kid from Hawaii, he has a great press stand. Inward bend in his knees, guys don't over coach his hands. Hey, I tell him, hey, be ready for the fight. Be ready for the fight, okay? I know some of you guys, I'm sure, watch boxing, right? But they always say, as soon as the bell rings, protect yourself at all times. So I'm not gonna tell him, hey, put your hands up. Hey, you know what you're putting up? Not putting your hands up, okay? You go back pretty close real quick. And again, creating that Z in the body. You guys see it? Creating that Z in the body, flat back, okay? Eyes on your keys. Good, coach. All stands, okay? We're still talking the same language. Power cylinder. You with me? Power cylinder, okay? Now your stance is gonna change a little bit. You're gonna have a, slagger, a, a staggered stance, okay? So again, I'm playing the left corner right now. Ball's inside here. I want my outside foot up, okay? Inside foot back, okay? Creating that heel to toe ratio. You go to the next slide, coach. I'll show you, hey, heel to toe, right? You guys with me? You guys see me in the back? Heel to toe ratio, okay? And again, right? I want our thighs to be comfortable, okay? If guys want to have their hands down, have a good posture, that's fine. Again, still creating that Z, okay? Creating that Z and eyes on our keys, okay? This is a great picture. Go back and go. Great picture here. Longer corner. That's why I say comfortability is so huge, guys, right? There's going to be tall guys you work with in high school level. There's going to be smaller guys. Let them be comfortable. Give them the tools. Let them execute, okay? Okay, this is big for me too. Guys, when you get into like intro stuff, day one with you guys, this is what we talk about here. So pedal progression, okay? Guys gotta understand how fast you're supposed to be pedaling. You can't just tell someone, hey, go back pedal. You gotta tell them what they need to do in terms of like their speed. So read pedal for us is essentially like a walk, right? Just your walking progression, okay? That's when you're reading runner pads. When we talk about our tempo pedal, guys, now we know it's runner pads. Now we're being quick game, just a slightly faster pedal. You guys with me? Okay, and then your first pedal intermediate. Meaning, hey, he's screaming out, he's on your toes, get your ass going. And my guys know, hey, when we're in a burst pedal, he's on, he's in my toes, right? And you're in phase, you gotta get going. Right, coach? Another thing that's really important when we talk about, when we talk about building the foundation for your corners, alignment is gonna be huge for them. So guys gotta know what, what alignment they're supposed to be in, okay? Level one is the, is the press. Okay, or you can still be in that one to four can still be pressed. And what I say, when I the reason I say one to four is, guys, when you guys do drills, and you'll see some of these in a second, don't have your guys hugging up on them. I see all these camps hugging up on them and not creating that natural space. You guys know what I mean by natural space, right? Where are they gonna be aligned really in the actual game? So we do all our drills like that, creating that natural space, and that's why I say it's one to four, level two, six to eight yards, and then level three, guys, know over nine plus, okay? Now, I'm gonna get, we're disrupting timing with the release. That's what we're looking to do. I don't wanna just let him absorb a shock and then he gets to reset and then release. No, don't fit in my buddy. Shock control, steers ass, run with them, and then we start working the, the mid route piece. Okay? Kick step, right? So once we affected his release and we disrupted that, we get into what we call the kick step. Okay, guys? So kick step for us guys is a 45 degree kick, angle kick, in the direction of the receiver, okay? So again, we're not opening the gate, this is opening the gate. When we talk about kick stepping, we talk about, again, stepping, replacing, opening at a 45 degree angle in, in the direction of release of the receiver, okay? As we talk about this guys, right? We wanna stay on top of the receiver, okay? and we don't want to open the gate, okay? Good coach. Okay, so now, some of the release drills, mirror, okay, and just, this, we're gonna get into kind of the progression how we're dealing with this. Just mirroring, matching the release the receiver, okay? And, and my guys know, hey, we're playing basketball and grass. That's what we're doing here, basketball and grass. Okay, leverage, mirror, same deal, okay? Now we're just telling them, hey, we're cheating her your leverage. You want inside leverage, you want outside leverage, maintain your leverage. You're gonna get a rabbit going back and forth. Okay. Same deal here. We're not looking for contact. Okay. <clears throat> Good coach. Same deal here. Maintain the same leverage. Good. Good. 
Everybody here, coach. Okay, motor mirror. Okay, so now we're taking a look at what we're talking about in terms of motor and <coughs> inch. Staying square, right? You freeze from your coach. We're gonna motor, right? And the reason I like doing it like this on the side, guys, is like you can slow it down for guys. You don't need to be going a million miles per hour. Slow it down for you guys so they get the technique. Good coach. Same deal here. Give him a little release. Okay, love this. We did this. That's it, Tom. When I was at Amherst, guys, right? Bring it back to me, coach. Day one of this, we don't have a video of this, is we'll put cones here, a four box cones for the guys that are landmarks, but you really can just use five yards. And again, you just work that release phase, you don't need to touch them. These, these jokers are always trying to compete, so they're always hitting after the, after the fact, but you really just need to work the release phase here. Release, Ricky Motors, gets on top of the receiver, okay? Well, what do you notice about this, guys, right? If we're going back to what I was talking about, two to one, right? If someone's gonna rebound himself, we don't need to extend that other arm. If he wants to run, let him go run. He's rewriting himself. We've done our job. A couple more here. All right, that's more of a two to one here. Playing them off. One with the receiver, looking to get on top of the receiver. There it is, right there. Great, great job. Two to one. We're guessing down here, though. We're just guessing down here. Come on, Derbs. Good, look at it. Good, good. Run with him. Last one here, coach. Good. Now just to look at, so typically guys, right? We'd be more head up, right back to me, coach. This right here, we have Zion just a shade inside, going off of the leverage piece of it, right? They say we're in the red zone, we really don't wanna go with any slam ball, so you can get your ass inside, working the same technique. Good. Good here, coach. Go on. Okay, mid route, right? Next phase of defending a route, okay? Hit drive, right? Training that. Matching the receiver's tempo. Matching the receiver's tempo. Staying on top of the receivers. Here, here, coach. Some of the mid route drills here, right? So the next phase of, right? We steered his ass. Now we're on top of the receiver. We're looking to just, we call it switch back, just shock the receiver. Turn, turn with your hips here. Okay. Good coach. Let's go to the next one. Better picture here. You guys can see. It's a violent shock on top of the receiver. It's a violent shock. Right? When I say the aiming point, right? So what are receivers coach on now? When they get press, really, or they're getting to their second level release, they're hiding their numbers. So you can't tell a kid to always just look, look to shock their numbers. I'm looking to shock the, the near top shoulder numbers. See here, Gene does a great job, right? He's, he's kind of shorter, so he just shock him when he can. Top shoulder. Good. Okay, the finish piece here, right? Defending the rock, aim for the top field shoulder, works the chest to chest. <laughs> Okay, so what I mean by that is that we're running with the receiver, we're working to get chest to chest with the receiver, okay? And we're aiming for his top field shoulder. Go ahead, coach. You're good here, coach. <clears throat> okay. You wanna go back one more? Okay, here we go, guys. So we train this all the time. The reason I, hey, I always tell guys, hey, you gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable, okay? So we, we train this Recovery phase drill here. I don't know why Joe's got to stand on his back. We don't want that. Okay, but we're gonna stagger the guy. So I'm gonna put a guy up that's running the receiver about like five yards up, and then I'll have our defender in the trail position. He's looking to get back in phase. Okay, and then we'll punch it through the pocket. That's what we talk about in the finish component. Punch through the pocket. Okay. Next piece of this is okay. What we're looking to do here again, right? Being comfortable, playing uncomfortable, okay? We're gonna work and turn, right? Still looking to get back in phase, right? Throw your elbow, get back in phase, locate the receiver, and punch through the hands. Go ahead, coach. Good, Jaren. What I like about this here too, right? You gotta train your guys on flipping their hips because hey, guys are gonna get beat. Double moves, it happens, right? 
Make sure you're not wasting movements. Bring it back from your coach. Jared's excellent at this, right? Even if he did get beat here, right? Look at his path. He's running the line. Get back on the face. Good. Very good. Get going, Lord. Bad ball. I'm not going to save you through it, but it wasn't me. One more picture here. Get going, get going. Good. Good here, coach. Good. But hey, guys, that's really what I got for you guys. You guys have any questions? You guys all set? Good stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, again, appreciate you guys. You know, being, being from Maine, it's always awesome to come back here and be around Maine guys. Um, you know, we're ready to listen. If you guys want to come by, talk to you all anytime soon. I got my email up there. Just shoot me an email. These slides, I get this all to you if you need it. Okay? Thank you guys.